Welcome viewers, welcome to our channel. The Supreme Court on Thursday questioned the conduct of Daivav Kumar Arvind Kejriwal's side in the case of the alleged assault of Rajya Sabha member Swati Maliwal saying it was shocked by how the incident took place at the Delhi Chief Minister's residence. The observation came even after the court issued a notice on Kumar's bail plea and listed it for hearing on August 7th. A bench of Justice Surya Kant, Deepankar Datta and Ujjal Bhayan said in the question is not whether the injuries Malayal sustains are major or minor, we are shocked at the manner in which it has done somebody visiting the CM's office. It said while agreeing to consider that bail plea, Kumar moved the Supreme Court after the Delhi High Court denied him bail on July 12th. Senior Advocate Abhishek Manu Sengvi, who responded Kumar, said Maliwal came to Chief Minister's residence and nobody had gone to her house prompting the bench to ask if the CM's office was a private residence. Does it need this kind of rules? We have released on bail people who are charged with heinous offence, but see the way and manner the offence is done. What kind of power has gone into his head that she tells him to stop as she is having a particular physical condition, but he continues, it is inhuman. What kind of a moral policing does he do? The court will hear a matter on August 7th and consider the charges she had filed in the case. It sort of response from the Delhi police of Kumar's bail plea while permitting the petitioner's lawyer to plea for charge sheet on record. Singhvi said the allegation against Kumar at the highest is that the causing injury and grounds for granting bail are made out as there is no way he can tamper with evidence with the charge sheet already filed. The bench replied that kind of a person cannot influence, while else can. If he can mislead people by calling the staff from the outside, can anybody dare to speak against him? The bench wondered if Kumar was formed aside from the CM or a government servant. Singhvi said Kumar, a former government servant, was a political assistant who fixes appointments of the CM. The FIR says you are ex-private secretary. What authority did you have of the office at CMs that the victim did not have? You want to put out a case as if some goon has gone in the house and he is not even ashamed of what he has done. Singhvi said Kumar was only seeking bail as he has been incarcerated for 75 days. He said the incident occurred on May 13 that Maliwal closed to file a complaint only after three days. Kumar was on May 16 book under the Indian Penal Code section related to criminal intimidation, assault with intent to disturb women and attempted culprit homicide. Kumar insisted that the allegation was false and that his custody was unnecessary since the investigation was complete. He argued that his arrest was made in a hurry, violating his rights as the police did not issue him a notice before arresting him without a warrant. Bureau report.